Hi, welcome to the garden. What do you do when it's 110 heat index and the weatherman got it wrong? It only got to 102 right now in the shade. You do as little as possible. But we got a few things I think we need to bring in the house, so let's take a look at that. This little cabbage, I don't think it's going to grow anymore. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. That's some it's definitely got some aphid damage. This isn't going to be the biggest cabbage I ever grew. But I bet it tastes good. We've got a snail down in here. But still see that little head? That is beautiful. That is going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and see what else we have. Oh, we got a couple really nice cabbages here, but we still got one in the refrigerator. So we still got a couple days on those. Oh, check this out. The thing about our blueberries, this is the champagne blueberry bush. And we've eaten almost everything off of it, but we still have a couple on a day that's as warm as this. Oh. I'm going to treat myself. Got a couple down in there. They'll be ready tomorrow probably. And that's why we do it. Because it tastes great. Let's see if we got anything else that needs to come in the house. There are going to be several days to ripen. But we got a whole bunch down in here. This plant's taking the heat pretty well. Some of these other ones are drooping pretty bad. We'll look at those here in a second. We planted these beets not too long ago. That's going to be nice for dinner. If you've been following my story, I don't thin stuff out very well. So if I find anything that's even halfway big, I'm bringing it in the house. That's going to be nice. We'll be able to clean up some of those tops also. See what else we have. You look at this big old root. That was a Swiss chard. We leave the roots in, but we cleaned all of this up and took those seeds. We've got other Swiss chard growing in here. We wanted to give them some room. We got quite a few nice butternut squash down in here. They're gonna take a while before they're ready to come in. See if we got any yellow squash. Ooh, this one needs to come in. Take that on in. And I think this one too. Now you can twist these off. I like to cut them. It makes it, it, makes it nice and clean. So those are beautiful. You were going to let me walk right past it. Look at that. Banana peppers ready to come in. Now I'm hoping this is just the heat. But it may be the weight. We may not be able to take it. We may have come to the conclusion, we'll see later on today, that this thing is massive. This thing is a giant. But if you look at the rest of the mine down here, it's doing fine. Let's see if we got anything else that needs to come in. We're going to go ahead and let this guy grow a little bit. We've got another one there. We've got a nice one down in here. But after you find your first one, it's not nearly as exciting. That's great. See if we got anything else that needs to come in. I see something that's probably almost too ripe already. Look at this. I knew we had some fancy... I knew we had some fancy cucumbers from Texas. That is awesome. That's about all the bigger they get, I understand. That ought to taste just great. I think that zucchini needs to sit on there for just a little bit. See if we got anything else. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's great. I think we got some green zucchini that needs to come off. How about that one down in there? 
That is great. Oh, they just grow overnight. Once they get going, that skin is nice and soft and it hasn't gotten hard yet. This is going to be beautiful. We've got a couple smaller ones we'll leave in for a day or two. See what else we got. I think let's check on these baby carrots. By uncovering them, we allowed them to turn green. And I see a bunch more. We'll see if they make it through this heat. This is a challenge of trying to do carrots this hot. Oh, I see a couple more peppers that need to come off. Those are great. You know what? I think we need to go look at this okra. I had no idea the okra that came from Florida was going to be tiny okra. What I want to do, though, is take all these little ones off and give the plant a chance. Although, <laughs> those are going to be fine eating. For anybody that doesn't know, you can eat the entire okra plant. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the fruit, you can eat the flowers. They're all very good. I'd show you, but there's almost no plant here to eat yet. I just want to take these little ones off. This is a potato. That's not okra. Then <laughs> we get a potato. <laughs> nice and clean, deep mulch potato. That's great. Hey, we've got sunflowers and amaranth. That's fantastic. And these tomatoes. And this tomato, eh, it's not quite turned into blush yet, but it will be soon. You know, and I actually haven't counted how many tomatoes we have out here. I need to do that, I guess. But it's a little too hot to be running down taking a tally. When they start, there's going to be a bunch. Like I said, what do you do when it's 102 in the garden? As little as possible. I think we've got a pretty nice little haul. I'm going to go ahead and go on in and clean this up, get ready for dinner. You can do this too. If you want to learn a little bit about the deep mulch, click that link and I'll meet you back in the garden. If you want to learn a little bit about the living soil, click that link and I'll meet you back in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.